Good morning. Good morning. Yes, as you can see, new air times. I'll be talking about that throughout the day, throughout this half hour. But don't forget, I have a new air time on KDKA Radio. It's noon to three, Monday through Friday. And of course, if you're watching us right now, you know we have a new air time, Sundays, 11 a.m. on WPCW. <sighs> Great show for you today. A little bit later in the program, we're going to talk about Recovery Day. You know, so often, we hear the downsides of recovery. We hear about the failures. We feel we hear about the relapses. Well, guess what? Recovery can work, and we're going to celebrate that later in the show. But we begin. I feel like we're celebrating uh, Sunday. Yes. Celebrating <laughs> Sunday. <Yes. laughs> yeah. Rita Gregory, who is here wearing her director's hat. Yes. And Kim L, who is here wearing her playwright hat. Yes. I mean, you two really, you, you do it all. You, you write, you direct, you act. Woman's got to do what a woman's got to yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yep. All right. So, Kim, this is your production. This is your play. Tell yes. me all about it. The name of the play is The Sunday God Gave Me. And it is um, a tale of the cycle of domestic violence. Mm. And a lot of times people hear about domestic violence after it's a secret, because in most societies it's a taboo. So this is a coming of age story of two young girls who are friends, and they grow up from the age of, is it nine and 10, nine and 10. to mm -hmm. 19 and 20, and then 29 and close to 30. And they have this story that they tell and that's it. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, Rita, you're directing the play. Yes. Talk to me first about the cast. Oh, it's a phenomenal cast. We have two young girls, mm -hmm. and then we have them as they move forward in, in later years. So, we have them as teenagers. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, it's All about right. the evolution. So, then, and we're going to see this picture in just a second. When I see these four women... Yes. They're representing the same women, just yes. at different phases. Exactly. Yes. Oh, interesting. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. And you'll see a lot of just the weaving in of characteristics and mannerisms so that you know that it's the same character when she, she gets older. Wow. Oh, that's fascinating. That's a wonderful yeah. story. Yeah. So then, and, and let me put this out there for both of you, because domestic violence is an emotional conversation yes. it yes. is a painful conversation yes and it's one that we don't have comfortably right how do you bring that to life on stage and how do you do that as a director mm -hmm. um, given all this baggage that goes along with it whoever wants to go first well what I did when I wrote it mm -hmm. is that I spoke to all of my female friends who had had domestic violence mm -hmm. at some sort in their life mm -hmm. and what it does is you find out that everybody's story is pretty much the same. Hmm. So it's a, a collaboration of, of stories, of, of pain, of, of residue. And it's really about the residue that's on the children and how they take that cycle and continue it over and over again. And so what I did as a playwright was to try to find our story and say that it's edutainment to the audience. Mm -hmm. So that when they leave, it travels with them and they're like that's grandma's story that's mama's story mm. and, and it's okay to talk about it mm -hmm. I, we will also have a um, a talk back with women against it's called war women against abusive relationships and hopefully someone from western psychiatric hospitals i would like to involve people that are in shelters mm -hmm. so that they can come you know, so we, we want to be able to tell our story, and it's really every woman's story. It's every woman's story. Every story, woman's yeah. story, but it's from in a perspective. In some way yes. or another. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know what? The realities are in this case, if that's your story, that's my story. Am I, yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 And if you don't talk about the problem, you can't solve the Absolutely. problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so we want to share that problem. And it's, and it's not all hardcore drama. There's some comedy. Okay, and that was going to be my yeah, next it, it, it shifts yeah. it. And, and Rita does an awesome job as, as giving that balance in the mm -hmm. movement of, of the story as it goes along. Yeah. So then that's yeah. a perfect segue because tell me what I'm going to feel while I'm watching the play and afterwards. What's the after play conversation? <laughs> It's, um, you're, you're going to feel a lot of different things. Uh, you are going to not only be entertained, but you'll be educated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Entertainment. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you'll be able to hopefully be able to be drawn into that story. And people need to understand that domestic violence isn't something that happens over there. Mm -hmm. We all know of someone who has been abused, who has gone through it. Mm. I have a family member who went through it, and I remember calling one of the shelters and trying to find help, but I couldn't get any information. But they did tell me the reason why, uh, one of the reasons why women stay and men stay mm -hmm. in situations like that is they're hit, and they realize later they survived it. And so they continue to stay in it because they know each time they they get hit that they can survive it. They can survive it. And I used to do programming for UPMC. Mm -hmm. I used to educate through entertainment, through okay. the arts. Mm -hmm. And there's something about fusing the two and presenting that information sh so that it is acceptable and it's easy to, um, to take it all in mm -hmm. without feeling uh, that barrier being put up. And Kim has written such a beautiful story. Thank you. That, uh, <laughs> we first told this story at the National Black Theater Festival four oh, okay. years ago. All right. Oh, so this has kind of been there well, for a yeah. while. Yeah. It, it started actually as a one act at the um, Pittsburgh Playwrights Theater. Okay. In 2010, I believe. And so I did it as a one act. Then I changed it to a full length with the children involved. Mm -hmm. And the National Black Theater Festival did it as a stage reading. And so I got feedback from that. And then I self, I'm self producing it now at oh, the New Hazlet awesome. Theater. I was going to say, let's talk about it because there's two yeah. days. So folks need to right. get, go to Eventbrite, get their tickets. Yes. Talk to me about those logistics. Yes, yeah, so you can go to Eventbrite. And the, the dates are September, Saturday, September 21st and Sunday, September 22nd. The Saturday show is at eight, and the Sunday show is at three, so that if people don't like to come out at night, they have an option of coming in the daytime. Mm -hmm. And it's at the New Hazel Theater on the north side, and I guess you're all gonna put up the information It's on. right there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's right there. So Rita, yes. did the Sunday God gave me, did, was it necessary to have a, a woman direct it? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And, and I'm glad that Rita is directing it because I needed to have a woman who could feel that. You know, I don't think that a man directing would be able to sympathize mm -hmm. with what these women, when they, especially the, the final part mm -hmm. that you see. And I do want to mention the actors' names. Um, two of them are 14 years old. Wow, that's awesome. And those and two they're are, from... they're from the um, Alumni Theater Company. Mm -hmm. okay. And their Very names are My Cherie Key and Ayana Bennett. And then the other two are alumni of the Alumni Theater Company. And their names are Shakira Wright and Cherish Morgan. They are phenomenal. Phenomenal. Oh, for... They, I mean, it's so believable. When I'm sitting, I'm like, oh, my God, they're just young. I feel like I know that name, Cherish yes. Morgan. Cherish Morgan. Would that have been from a, the, Wiz, they the, did the Wiz. August Wilson monologue competition? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes, they All both right. did. I know yes. that I knew the name. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and they're, they're powerful. Oh, I'm, awesome. I just so feel exciting. blessed to have a team that wants to tell the story and that who also wants to make sure that mm -hmm. people go home and learn something and from learn it, something. especially young girls. And Rita, you get the last word here. Is that, uh, what do you want people to walk away with? I want people to walk away with being drawn into this story and really understanding just how, how real this is. It isn't something, like I said, that exists outside mm -hmm. of our world, because it isn't. It it's isn't. something, it could be something like verbal abuse mm -hmm. as well as physical mm -hmm. abuse. Indeed. Uh, All yeah. right, ladies, sounds good. And tickets at eventbrite.com. Get your ticket now. Don't, don't play around. You right. know how you all do. You wait till the last minute. Yep. Don't do that. And come yeah. out and support local theater. There you go. Local These artists. performers are phenomenal. Yeah. Can't wait. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. Thanks Thank so much. You. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about Recovery Day. And we're going to talk with a woman who has walked the steps of recovery. So stick around. We'll be right back.